It says this. The Lord said to Moses, uh, depart, uh, go up from here, you and the people whom you have brought up out of the land of Egypt, to the land of which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying to your offspring, I will give it. And I will send an angel before you, and I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. <clears throat> go up to a land flowing with milk and honey. But I will not go up among you, lest I consume you on the way, for you are a stiff-necked people. This is the holiness of God. And like, I'm going to give you what I promise, but I can't get too close to y'all because y'all still, still tripping. Y'all, because I just, I just brought you through the Red Sea. Like, y'all been crying for me to come get you for 400 years. I responded to the cries, brought you through the Red Sea, killed the enemy, okay. and then you get over here on the other side right after the praise party. You get to tripping about what you don't got to eat and how good it was back then. You mean back there when you was a slave? <laughs> you, you, and then I rained down bread and quail, like, what? I done brought water out of a rock. Y'all, like, y'all can't fool with y'all. Y'all going up there, you can have it, but I can't get too close to y'all. Because y'all, y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Y'all is tripping. So he says, look. But verse 4 says, when the people heard this disastrous word, think about that though. They didn't even really want the stuff. He <laughs> said, listen, this is a disaster. Like, that's bad news. It's good news that you're letting us have the land and that you're going to fight the enemies that's out there, but you're not coming. He said, when the people heard this disastrous word, they mourned and no one put on his ornaments. Think about this. Nobody got dressed up. <laughs> Take my bracelets off. I don't want to. It's, it's, it's a bad day. I don't want it to look like it's a bad day. I don't want those. No, I don't no comb your hair. Don't do nothing right now. The Lord say He ain't coming. That's a, that's a, that's not good. Because we don't know where we're going. And there's enemies out there. We ain't got enough to fight. We got kids. <laughs> <laughs> How we go? These people out here already set up. We would have just came out of slavery. How are we going to put together an army to go fight and take some? They said, this is bad news. And then it says in verse number five, For the Lord has said to Moses, Say to the people of Israel, You are a stiff-necked people. Uh, if for a single moment, if I should go up among you, I will consume you. So now take off your ornaments, that I may know what to do with you. Humble yourself. Therefore, the people of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments from Mount Oreb onward. Now, Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside of the camp. So this was the worship place, far off from the camp. And he called it the tent of meeting. And everyone who sought the Lord would go out to the tent of meeting, which was outside of the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise up, and each would stand at his tent door and watch Moses until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered the tent, the pillar of cloud would descend and stand at the entrance of the tent, and the Lord would speak with Moses. And when all of the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise up and worship, each at his tent door. So the cloud of pillar meant the presence of the Lord came down. He's meeting with Moses, and they talk. And then it says, thus says the Lord, or thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. When Moses turned again into the camp, his assistant, Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, would not depart from the tent. Moses said to the Lord, see, you say to me, bring up this people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. Now, therefore, if I have found favor in your sight, please show me now your ways that I may know you in order to find favor in your sight. Consider, too, that this nation is your people. And he said, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Hold on a second. What did Moses just do for the people? What is that called? Defended. He interceded. Yeah, that's what he spoke to God on their behalf. 
You're like, I know that, I know. Right. I know. Right. Right. I know, because like, cause like I, you put me in charge of these right. people, yeah. and they've been yeah. fighting with me right. off what you've been told me. So I know. And so he, this is another picture of Christ mm. who goes and talks to God face to face oh, my, my, my. on our behalf. Because if he don't talk to me yeah. on our behalf, listen, the Lord already said, I ain't coming with y'all. Y'all, y'all don't get it. But Christ is the mediator who yeah. steps in between to reconcile that God now goes back on what he said. Because listen to this, the holiness of God say, I can't, I can't fool with y'all. But because Christ, the intercessor, the yeah. one he speaks face to face with, pleads our case for us, he says, all right, look at verse 15. He says, and he, I'm sorry, verse 14, he says, and my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said to him, if your presence will not go with me, do not bring us up from here. He's resolved to say, listen, we can't make it without you. That's, he's resolved. Like, if okay, I hear you. Now you talking to God. <laughs> now, all right. Now, now, you said you wasn't. Now you say you're coming. But listen, I just want you to know, if you're not coming, <laughs> don't <laughs> send us. <laughs> We're going to stay right here. <laughs> with, with no party goes <laughs> wrong. We, we, we will be unordinated for the rest of our days. <laughs> Look at the mess out here. If you not coming. And you know, and that's the same that's thing with, with us now. It's like in our lives. How they got to a point, you know what? If you ain't with me, man, I already know right. it's over. Don't open that door. Don't me. please, no, Lord. Yeah. Close the ones you want closed. Right. Open the ones you want open. Because right. please, I'm not trying to go. Get the, <laughs> I get the trigger. I think that's the right thing. Yes. Right. So if it ain't, because I don't want to be Stop nowhere where you ain't. Yeah. No. Yes. And because I've been there when you wasn't there. Trying to do it myself. Trying to do it myself. And screwed up every time. Yeah, every time. Every time. <laughs> Not once. Sad. Heartbroken. Like. Oh, God. Help me, Jesus. Yeah, help me, Jesus. But you wanted that so bad. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted that. So I'll let you get it. Right. <laughs> now you see what it was right. like. Yeah. Next time you'll listen. Yeah. Time. And you come I'm begging in back. Ear, to hear it in your ear. You so, start so crying. So here's another place to be resolved. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's to cool. be in the place of listen. Lord ain't in it. Yes. I don't want. It. Right. I, don't want it. I don't. I don't want to be involved in it. Like it ain't gonna do. It's a waste of time. Because it's, yeah. it's not gonna work. It ain't gonna prosper. Yeah, right. But if the Lord is in it, it don't matter how 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 to shambles it looks. That's right. He'll rise up out of the dust. And then and when he when he's in it, because it's a part of our purpose, mm -hmm. it's all good for the direction of where we're going. Yeah. And that's the beautiful thing. It's like okay, because. If you're not in this, that means it's not a part of my direction, and you, we not, we not getting ready to, to do this thing, and I'm gonna be having some problems <laughs> when I get in this. So we don't need. So it. we don't need. Cause you, you got something planned for me to do, for you, not for me no more, for you. And that I recognize it ain't about me, like you said earlier, because I, I tell people all the time, when I have my life, I screwed it up. When I had it in my hands. I messed it up and I told God, okay, I don't want it in my hands though because I know when it's over there, it's good. But when I when when it's in mine, I tell people I do not live for myself no more. I try and ask him to please lead me and guide me on what you want me to do because it, it it's done. I'm resolved. It was I'm resolved and it ain't I don't do don't a good thing. Don't I don't do a good thing. <laughs> I don't get a I don't do a good thing by leaving it. Right. So. Let, me, let me get in the back seat. Yeah. And ride. And I don't mind. Back. Your prayer.